Hello all. <coughs> uh, yes, I'm a bit late, but let's give it a try. Uh, I call it as Business Central Day 1. So I'll be releasing a set of videos about how to configure and how to code Business Central right now on your machines and you know use it. So the two components that we need to customize Business Central right now, I, I would prefer to have a Docker setup uh, for the business central and then visual studio code is required to customize business central going forward So let's talk about dockers first And let's start downloading it. So open your explorers and then visit docker.com It's just for everyone. This is not a Microsoft tool it's a it's a open source tool which is used which we are going to use you can download the dockers by going down there would be a link to download it let's see okay here it is product and then you can get the docker from the from this page download from docker store it's free to use you can download it now docker is uh, is you would have heard about it it's now uh, integrated with nav you can use nav images inside docker and uh, those uh, images are available from Microsoft starting 2016 for uh, each CU and 2017 and 2018 and then you can select the docker version that uh, based on your operating system and you can download that so i have already downloaded it and the next thing that you need is the is visual studio code so for that you can navigate to code.visualstudio.com and you can download it from here based on again based on your operating system which operating system you're you're using you can download it for Windows uh, you know Red Hat as Linux and for Mac once you downloaded both the tools we you'll get an installer like these and we'll see how these need to be installed and then in the in the future videos we'll see how how we can link this to nav and all so let's start install docker double click on the setup that is uh, that you'll get after downloading dockers from their website there will be a confirmation message click yes on it I'm not sure you were able to see it or not let's start downloading the package automatically so in the meantime it's downloading the package here we will also start the Visual Studio Code installer and I'll click yes okay let's keep this aside and first talk about the installation option or configuration of dockers so as we will be using it for nav we need to have uh, using a windows container instead of linux container by default docker is uh, configured to use linux container you can change it later or you can change it now i'll choose to change it now and i'll say okay i'll start downloading the files that are required for the dockers and in the meantime it's installing I'll start the setup of Visual Studio Code accepting the agreements by the default path the folder name and I need all these options like I need a desktop icon I need an open with code action on my uh, right click for the files and for the folders and then uh, I need to add a registry code so I'll click next and the both the components are being installed now now in the meantime these components are installed let's talk majorly about Visual Studio Code where there are so many questions and confusions about Visual Studio Code uh, Visual Studio Code is not a completely new programming language uh, which will replace Cal to say so and I, I I hear about this confusion so much that it's a completely different programming language and we will have to rewrite everything that we have written the part of the statement is kind of true that 
we will have to rewrite some parts of the code that we have written into nav till 2018 but it's not a new programming language you can consider it as a new interface of where you program so uh, think it from this perspective that the nav was developed for accountants and for non-technical people to customize it very easily using the wizard you can you know you can click shift f4 you can you know you can have all those simple intuitive features to customize a business product with visual studio code it will be more like a programming language but the cal code the statements and everything the you know the find first find last get and all those statement will remain as it is no one need to worry about it and i'm pretty sure about it i have uh, you know used it and checked it so i'm pretty sure that nothing going to change i would rather say that you might love visual studio if you start uh, visual studio code if you start using it uh, because there are very new uh, so many new features that can be used uh, the only thing that I think that every one of us need to change right now is we actually need to unlearn the way we used to customize nav so uh, what we have done for past so many years based on your experience is we have a habit of customizing base object writing code in the inside base application base pages base table base code units and all those things that that approach need to be changed and that's why i say we need to unlearn the way we have learned all these years to customize nav and the new way or the future for the business central is to use uh, events and subscriptions so anything that you want to customize for your customer on a business central environment will be via using events and subscription. Now there is a new buzzword or it's it's been there for a while called extension and people ask that do I need to worry about it? It was so complex when I used it in 2016 and all those stuff. So let's clarify that doubt also. So if you have used uh, extensions v1 which is majorly 2016 and 2017 you might have uh, some pain which were there in the initial releases but now with extensions v2 it's all the all these pains are removed and they this is a completely automated process if you never use extensions till now don't worry about it it's all autom automated you don't need to even think about it that uh, how it is done how it is published and all those things there are some things that we need to worry about extensions it's not actually worry that we need to remember and think and plan based on that we'll talk about those as we progress with business central customizing business central with the series of videos if you have any questions about you know uh, visual studio code what's changing you know I have heard questions should I leave nav or do something else all all that is completely wrong the product is changing the business is changing and we also need to change with the product and the business so if you have any questions put down into the comments or email me I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to reply each of the email that I receive okay with that being said are both the installation are completed so let's close down this let's close down visual studio and let's try to open it and see what's inside here so this is the new interface of visual studio and we'll talk about it how what is this how it works you know what are these things what are these parameters why there is a pop-up of symbol missing and all those things what these ribbons are called what are options there don't worry about it we'll, we'll surely talk about it let's close this how you can make sure that your docker is set up and running you can you need to go to your here and you don't see a blue wheel icon that means docker haven't started yet so let's double click this and docker will start and you'll get a pop-up on, on on this side that the docker is starting not this one <laughs> sorry so it it takes a while to start it but you can yeah like this kind of message you'll see that the docker is starting it will take a while to start it 
but once it's started you can see it here and I'll, I'll just tell you some simple steps to see that the docker is installed and configured and running fine so that's in the meantime this is popping up let's try to find the powershell because i i love powershell I, instead of command prompts and all so i'll start windows powershell ISE. with that being said let's have a look so if you see this blue wheel the wheel icon now it says docker is running that means it's loaded and once it started running you get a pop-up like this which is a welcome screen from docker i'll minimize the powershell um you don't need to have a docker id and a password but feel free to create one if you want one i don't have one so i'm not i'm not creating one and i'm not planning to create one right now so if you want you can you know you can create an id but i'm closing this just to check uh is my docker running and everything is set up properly just use the following command which is docker version this command will tell you the version of the docker which is installed and if it returns something then your docker is running and everything is set up fine so we'll be majorly using powershell docker's visual studio code uh, you know during this series of videos uh, to see how how new uh, business central work how we set it up so you know keep these configured so as you can see in my output screen now i have the version uh, returned for the docker so that means everything is good and i'm good to go so that that will be all for today i'll i'll come back pretty soon with the next video where we'll talk about how how you can set up uh, or how you can load a business central image or any other image that you need which is starting 2016 till 2018 and then business central based on your requirement how easy to set up uh, a docker environment for business central we'll just see that in next video and then after that we'll talk about how we can customize it we'll we'll take some simple examples we'll go through all different type of objects that are available in visual studio code how to create them how easy how complex it is so that's all for today uh, please subscribe to the channel if if you want to keep up get updates whenever there is a new video posted and we'll see you soon thank you